Greetings, everybody. Today, we're gonna show you guys the Starlight Bridge. I haven't seen other YouTube vloggers come here yet, so hopefully I'm the first one to show you guys this. This place, me and my girlfriend have come here many times. The only problem is, is finding milk tea that's cheap, because <laughs> we're so poor. Man, I don't know if you guys wear a mask and wear glasses at the same time. It really causes them to fog up, doesn't it? Okay, so I think we're gonna go to Koi Coffee first, or Koi Milk Tea. And you guys will see the price difference. In my last video, we went to a Milk Tea in District 7. So now we're gonna go to Koi, or Gancha, I'm not sure which. So as you guys can see there in the distance, that is the Starlight Bridge. The lights don't look like stars, but it is what it's called. Sometimes they have water shooting out the side. All right, well, let's find us some tea. Oh, they got some really nice restaurants. The places are really nice. Sounds like a cafeteria with the, the clanging of the, the fine china. I can't wear this mask because it's completely fogging me up. You can take it up. I'm gonna have to. No, let's, let's go by Koi first. Koi's way over there. Okay. Well, let's go walk by the water then. What's the name of the street? Here do I. So this is the I Don't Know Street in District 7. If you guys want an alternative to Nguyen Huai Walking Street, it's a pretty nice place to go. The but buildings it, are really nice. But in Vietnamese, we call it Cao An Sao. Cao An Sao, which means Starlight Bridge. Yes. Uh -huh. We're going to go find a Koi because we don't want Gan Cha. We decided to walk straight down the middle of the street rather than picking a sidewalk. To give you guys a better view. It feels like I have like a gerbil under my mask pressed against my face with this beard. All right guys, we couldn't find a koi, so we went all the way to the end of the shopping plaza. So we're gonna head back to Gancha, which is like koi, but not as good. It's a Korean company, not that that makes a difference, but, but I'll show you guys these shops. Check this place out. Chuck Chuck, that's a cool name, right? Chuck Chuck, ice cream, coffee, and tea. Kinda makes you think that if you buy ice cream, coffee, or tea there, you're gonna throw up. You're gonna upchuck. Tokyo Deli sushi restaurant. Does deli and sushi really go together? Isn't a deli a place where they cut meat and make sandwiches? There's a lot of children out here on the little skateboards with handlebars. That's what I'm gonna call those. I think they're called scooters. I'm not sure. This is a pretty popular restaurant in Ho Chi Minh City, King's Cross. You see this a lot in the uh, upscale areas of Ho Chi Minh. I think this is kind of considered an upscale area. Yeah. If you want a decent alternative to Nguyen Hue Walking Street, this is a good spot. It's not that many shops here, but the bridge is really cool. I'm gonna show you guys that. But on the entire walk, I'll show you guys what's going on here. You're not allowed to drive here, just like Nguyen Hue Walking Street, can't drive. They got it barricaded. Looks like they're doing some painting or something. Thai Express. I guess that's like Thai fast food. I don't know. It's the American Eye Center here in Vietnam. So if you want your eyes done up like the Americans, you go to the American Eye Center. I guess. I don't know. I think these are all office buildings up there. They're all pretty dark. As you guys can see, there's a decent amount of people out. Not too many people. Maybe we should head up to Nguyen Hoai again and check that out once it gets closer to Lunar New Year. What do you think? Think we should go to the Nguyen Hoai soon? Yes, I think so. Why? Because I think Nguyen Hoai is very, very, very nice now. Nguyen Hoai? Broken trees, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. They're building up all kinds of tent decorations over there, so we'll go check that out <laughs> soon. I don't know. I don't know how soon. Well, not much to see right now. Actually, if you guys haven't watched my third moto vlog yet, I talk about dating in Vietnam. Might be kind of interesting. I give some good advice, some do's and don'ts, and some warnings. Check that out if you guys haven't seen that one yet. There's Boomerang Coffee and Lounge. Passed by that earlier. Looks like a sports coffee bar. I know I saw a Heineken sign in there earlier. A lot of people sitting outside. Holy crap. You got big screen TVs in there showing sports shows. People with bottles of wine, definitely a fancy place. Too rich for my blood. Ah, and just like Nguyen Hoai, you 
got the little vendors with the rave lights. Looks like you got the teenagers up here doing their TikToks and their selfies. And here's Gancha. So let's go into Gancha. You guys want to see the difference in the prices? I don't know if you guys have seen my uh, milk tea video from District 7. That's where we go because you get really good milk tea at an affordable price. Well, come check out the price difference here. So this is Gancha. This is a Korean milk tea company. Oh, I got told you guys a story about the time I had to use the bathroom. I had to take a really big crap. It was a squirter. And it was really getting to the end of my intestines and I really needed to get it out. And that's the bathroom right there. And you can see the bathroom right next to everybody. And there was a huge line for the bathroom. So I didn't want anybody to come in after me, so I was letting everybody go first. You see three people waiting now, but then there was four or five. So I kept letting people go and I kept holding it and squeezing it in. And finally I got in there, I couldn't wait anymore. And I just painted that toilet bowl and I stunk that room up and I was so embarrassed because I know everybody heard me. I came out, probably my face was pretty red. Cool story, huh? <laughs> I'm sure all you women out there will appreciate that story. It only looks to be about maybe 250% of the price of the milk tea in District 7. Lấy một trà sữa, xoài chân châu đen, xoài bò. Đường đá bình thường, có sự bỏ thuốc. Chocolate. Lấy một trà sữa, sô-cô-la, xoài bò luôn. Đường đá bình thường. I'm gonna pick chocolate because that's one of the words I recognize. Có bình thường đậm đậm. I know that means peach. Yeah. You want peach? No, I want chocolate. Now that we got our our order place. Now we're gonna wait for our milk tea and then we're gonna walk the Starlight Bridge. On the other side of the bridge, there's a little park. So I'll show you guys that too. We'll walk around. So now we got our milk tea from Gancha. It's not even that good. <laughs> and it costs 115,000 for us both. So the price wasn't that bad, but it's not even that good. I know it's dark guys, it's hard to see. But hopefully once I get up there a little bit, we will see a little bit more of the bridge. A lot of people out. One thing I am noticing the difference between here and Nguyen Huy Walking Street is there's a lot of little kids here. Nguyen Huy, not so much. So the, the age level has dropped a little bit, and there's a lot of old, really older folks here too, one of the senior citizens. Not many vendors out here, but there are a few. I don't know if you guys can see the water coming outside there. I know you can see the colors. Not much I can do about the lighting, guys. I can't make the sun come out. Hopefully you guys get a good view. I think my girlfriend really wants to be on camera. That's why she's walking so fast. They even have little lights here on the ground. Those must be the stars. Starlight. Why should I make a video of you? Do you guys want to see her? Is that true? Let me know in the comments and I'll tell her. I know you guys don't want to see me. All those lights you guys see over there, that's where we were walking earlier and we showed you guys all the, the restaurants and shops. Okay, now we're walking to the other side of the bridge. This is where the little park is at. And this is kind of a really good spot to take your kids if you got kids here in Ho Chi Minh City because you can rent these little, I don't know what those are. You guys remember Power Wheels from the 90s? Little electronic driven cars. They can drive around on their little mock race course. Last time we were here was before the last severe COVID restriction and there was a lot more vendors out here. The place is pretty empty. We're gonna walk through this park here. And once again, guys, sorry for the lighting. I can't do anything about it. It's not very well lit. If you guys are ever looking for a, a decent alternative to Nguyen Huy Walking Street, Starlight Bridge is a good spot. They got a lot of decent shops over there for food coffee and tea, little entertainment area for the kids. And if you just want to hang out on the bridge and enjoy the sound of the water and look at the lights, it's pretty cool. 
I don't even know if you guys can see my face. Pretty dark in here guys you can't see much but i think that's the idea with a lot of the parks like this if you guys watch my third moto blog i talk about dating and relationships in vietnam and where the young folks will go to get out of their households they usually come to places like this to hold hands and cuddle and it is pitch black right now so i'm going to kill the camera so i had to cut the camera throughout the whole walk in the park it was a pretty big park but it's so dark, so unless you guys just want to see a black screen and listen to me talk. If that's the case, just turn off your commuter monitors or turn off your phones and listen to my nice and soothing voice. But I don't think you guys are like that. I think you guys actually want to see stuff, so I did cut the camera. This is where you can rent all the power wheels. Man, they got a lot of them out there. Look at all that. All right, so we're going to walk right back across the bridge, and then we're going to head over to Nguyen Hue and they're building some pet stuff over there. So I'll let you guys check that out. We're gonna go make that video right now. See if there's something a little bit more interesting going on. Not saying this place isn't uninteresting because it is. But thanks for watching guys and stay awesome.